Look at this, you guys. Oh, how cute is that? Little baby silver fox. So this little baby is like four and a half weeks old now. All of them are, and you can see some of them behind me. Um, what we have ended up doing is I made like little stands for all of my rabbit tractors just because I think I want to hold off on putting them on the ground until they're at least six to eight weeks old. These are Bella's babies and the father is Cole. And so far I'm really, really impressed. Bella does not have great fur. Like she's not a show rabbit, she's just a brood doe. Every baby that she's thrown so far has the most gorgeous silver fox fur. It's just so long and lush. Um, these guys don't have any silvering yet. <laughs> but they're just so, so cute. Probably wants to go back with his litter mates. So today I want to talk to you guys about my current rabbit hutch because basically um, we've had it for almost a year now. Jameson and I built it last, um, last August actually. So really we've had it about a year now. We've experienced all seasons with it. Um, and I have definitely noticed it has quite a few major, major downfalls. So this last year, I made enough money to um, upgrade my rabbit's living space. And um, so basically I've taken all of the faults that I've noticed with my current rabbit hutch, and I'm going to make this new hutch um, built on experience, I guess you could say. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about the three major things that are wrong with my current rabbit hutch. It's a cage frame hutch, so the cages um, hang within the hutch structure, if that makes sense. So, um, but here's the three things that are wrong with it. So the very first thing that's wrong with my current rabbit hutch is the location. It is in the worst location that I could have put it in. But the thing is, last year I thought this was gonna be like the best location ever. It's like right up against our house. It's like really easy access right out the back door. Um, and so I thought it was in the perfect position, but it's really not. Currently right now our rabbit hutch is south facing. And what I've had to deal with over the last year or so is when it rains, sometimes the rain really, really blows into the hutch. Last winter I put up a clear tarp. Um, and so I, I made that there so it's like a windbreak. Um, and it works pretty well in the winter actually. But the thing about it in the summer is I can't really cover them when it's really hot out. Like if it's, if it's like 85 degrees, but it's like pouring down rain, I can't put the tarp up because it creates a greenhouse effect. Um, so I can't really uh, cover them from the rain all that much. Um, I know that they stay dry because they stay in the back of their cages, but it's still like a terrible situation. It's not facing the right direction. And also it is not under shade. Um, actually the position that it is in right now, it actually gets the full brunt of the afternoon sun and it's just awful. So this summer I have been working like overtime trying to keep my rabbits cool. I have like um, those little like blue ice packs that you can buy at like the camper section at Walmart. I've been freezing them and like I'll give them those to lay on. Um, but by the end of the day, those are completely melted. Um, so I did that. I've installed fans for air circulation. Um, but it's just, it's so, it's just not in a good place. It's right under the sun. The afternoon sun just hits it so, so hard. And another reason that it's just not in a good location is it's just too close to the house and you would think that that would be convenient and it, it has been. Um, it's nice that I have light up there um, and it's, it's convenient, yes, but in the summer when the flies come, we have had so many flies in our house this year and I almost can guarantee you that it's because they like to congregate under the rabbit hutch and in their trays. Even if I clean them out every couple of days, we still get fly and fly larvae like swarming into the trays when it was really, really hot out, especially end of June, beginning of July. We had so many flies in our house and around the rabbit hutch. It was just so, so gross. My dogs are actually scared of flies now because they have seen us swat at them or spray them so many times that they think that when we take out the, the swatter or the spray that we're coming to get them. <laughs> I don't really know why, we've never hurt them with them, but they're just like terrified of flies now. So every time there's a fly buzzing around, we have to deal with Aria getting all panicky. Tell them how you're so scared of flies. 
Are you? She's after a squirrel right now. All right, number two. The second thing that is wrong with my rabbit hutch right now is just the overall structure. So when we built it, um, we knew we were gonna get 30 by 30 cages. I wanted three on the top, three on the bottom. Um, and so we made the inside of the, the structure to fit 30 by 30 cages, but we hardly gave ourselves any leeway. So right now how it is, is the cages are so cramped together that it's very hard to um, get them in and out without them getting caught on one another. I need to put barriers on them sometimes, and so sometimes there's not even enough room to put like proper barriers in the middle of the cages, just because I don't want anybody biting um, each other. I've zip tied hardware cloth to them, but the thing about it is that it's so tightly cramped together that getting those cages out of there, since I've put hardware cloth on the sides of them, they're constantly getting caught on each other. So with the new hutch, I am definitely going to be making a lot of room. It's going to be much more spacious. Um, cages aren't going to be butting up against each other because that has just been so annoying. Also, the way that I put the hutch together, I guess, um, we laid a 2 by 4 the wrong way. I don't I don't know why we did this. I, we were kind of just learning how to build. Um, so I laid a 2 by 4 flat, and it goes flat, and it's across like this. You really don't want to do that because what we found happened over just the course of like a month or two after like it withstood some weather is that that 2x4 started like swaying down um, which is definitely not ideal so what I ended up having to do is I had to get two 2x2's two and put them in the middle as like structure trying to hold that up so it wouldn't bow um, and it's just that those two by twos have gotten in the way of so many things because of how cramped the cages are. In order to take like a side cage out, I have to take the middle cage out first and then I have to take the side cage out, slide it to the middle and take it out the middle. And it's just, it's so annoying. I just, I want to be able to take a cage out, like just one cage at a time to like clean it and I can't do that. I have to do the exact same thing with the trays. Um, and that actually brings me to my next thing about the whole structure. We made the height of it to fit the cages and the trays, but we hardly gave ourselves any room. There's like this much room between the cage and the trays. Like, and if that doesn't look like a lot, it's because it's really not. It's so close to the cage that I actually have to clean my trays out at least like once a week. Um, and if there's babies, more than that because the way they poop, if it starts to pile up, it actually gets stuck under there, and it's really, really hard for me to get it out. Another thing that I guess is kind of a complaint, but it's like, it's kind of, it's not a huge deal, but it's something that I'm gonna try to avoid doing next time, is I'm gonna try to avoid putting the bottom row so low, because I have to really kneel down on my knees um, to feed or water the bottom row of rabbits. It's really not fun. I don't want it to be that low next time. Um, so I'm gonna try to not make them that low. And um, yeah, it's just keep in mind, like how, how low do you wanna have to like crouch to feed your rabbits? I didn't even think to think of something like that, but yeah, I just don't, after the last year of doing that, I just don't wanna be doing that anymore. All right, and the third last thing that is wrong with my current rabbit setup is the cages themselves, this isn't even about the hutch structure really, it's about the cages. I was trying to do all of this on a budget. So the cages that I ended up getting last year um, were just uh, cages from Tractor Supply. And the brand name I think is Do More. They're just not the best. I like them because of the black wire. I thought the black wire looked kind of cool and I thought it, you know, it, I thought it wouldn't rust as bad um, because it was coated. They actually have rusted pretty bad. Um, considering they're coated all like the coating on the doors and stuff have come off um and yeah they're just not they're not as durable as you might think um the floors have begun to sag on them um and i'm just not a big fan it might work for like a smaller breed like a dutch or something like that but silver foxes are like around nine to ten pounds when they're full grown and when you count in like litter size like my does have been having like 10 babies per litter and when you get all of those babies plus the full grown mom on the wire, it really starts to sag. Um, and so that has been one of my biggest complaints. Um, and the problem with the sagging is that my trays are already too close to the cage itself. So when it sags like that, I have to make sure that I have to take every single rabbit out of the cage in order to remove the trays or else I'm gonna catch somebody's toes. And I don't wanna have to 
be nervous that that's gonna happen. They're just kind of cheaply made. Also, the doors, um, one thing I like about the doors on these cheaper cages is that they do open outward. I don't like the doors that sway inward. I've just never really been a fan of those. Um, but I do like the doors that swing outward. Um, but the thing about the do more doors is that they are so loose. Like when you, when you close them, they, they sit crooked. So it's like, I have to add bolt snaps, um, on the corners of my doors because I'm almost positive that some of my rabbits would probably just like push out of the corner of the door and like probably try to escape. And I guess the last thing that I've noticed about the cages too is that, um, Obviously there's no baby saber wire and what baby saber wire is, I think it's half inch by one inch wire that goes up a couple inches up the sides. And what that does is when the babies start coming out of the nest box, um, it prevents the babies from being able to slip out the one by two inch wire mesh. Like the baby saber wire is there so the babies can't accidentally fall out of the cage and end up on the ground. If you're planning on having does with litters, it might be wise. Um, especially if they're outside to invest in a cage that has baby saver wire because um, it's not fun to find a baby outside of the cage. Um, and I've heard some horror stories of um, people finding their babies out and just terrible things that have happened to them. So uh, yeah, I just don't want to deal with that anymore. So I just put baby saver wire on every single cage that I ordered this time around just so I don't have to worry about which one has it and which one doesn't. They all will have it on the remodel. So and hopefully by our next round of babies, we'll have the remodel done. All right guys, so that was the three things that are wrong with my beginner rabbit hutch. Um, I hope that this was helpful to you um, if you're getting started with rabbits um, and you're wondering you know what could go wrong with beginner hutch structures so those are three of the things that I would definitely recommend you look into I definitely think that my main concern is getting these guys out of the weather putting them back here where it's nice and cool under this tree just so we can have happier rabbits I hope you enjoyed this video and um, also, I hope you enjoyed seeing my little baby silver foxes in the background hopping around. I haven't been like really paying attention to them, but I'm, there's one right now. But I'm hoping that you um, maybe found some enjoyment in that because they're so cute. I'm so excited about them. So guys, if you like this video and you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Comment anything that you would like to see in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.